Hey, Jubilee Church family, this is Seth from Lake of the Ozarks. Wanted to bring some encouragement from our daily Bible reading. This is uh, Psalm 42, verse 1. And the psalmist says this, he says, As a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Uh, you, ever, you ever found yourself growing thirstier and thirstier? Uh, maybe as you begin to get thirsty, you think, man, if I just had a cup of my favorite drink, if I just had a big glass of iced tea, if I just had a cold Coke, if I just had a cup of coffee, that's, that's what I'm thirsty for. But if you continue on not drinking and your thirst grows and grows and grows, you'll pass a point where you realize, man, I'm not, I'm not really thirsty for iced tea. What I'm, what I'm really thirsty for is water. I just need a glass of water. Water is the thing that makes up all the, the drinks that we make. It's the thing that, w- that was meant to quench our bodies thirst. And uh, in the same way, the psalmist in here, you can see as you read the rest of the chapter, man, there's oppression, there's difficulty going on. It would be easy for the psalmist to say, oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty for some peace. Bring, bring a change in circumstances. I'm, I'm thirsty for some things to be worked out here, for you, to, for you to make the way straight. But he doesn't say that. He says, I'm thirsty for you. See, the psalmist realizes something. He realizes that all our hungers and thirsts inside of us, uh, what, what they're really thirsty and hungry for, the real fulfillment to your hunger and thirst, it's God. And so I, I don't know where you're at today. Maybe you feel hungry and thirsty for a change in circumstances. I mean, this is a strange and difficult in different time. Maybe, maybe you feel hungry and thirsty for relationships, to be closer to people. And, and man, those are good things. Peace, a change in circumstances, relation, relational closeness, all these things are good. But, but let these thirsts grow in you, not shrink. Don't ignore them. Don't push them away. But let them point you to God. He's the one who will really fulfill these desires. He is ultimate peace. He is perfect relation, relationship and encouragement. And see how the psalmist finish, finishes. He says, why are you cast down, O my soul? So he's talking to himself. And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. So I'm going to encourage you today. If you're, if you're feeling thirst and hunger for different things, talk to yourself. Tell yourself, hey, come on, soul, why, why are you just hungry for a change in circumstance? So ho- hope in God. He is the one who can really save. He is the one who can bring real fulfillment. Turn your attention to God today and, and find fulfillment for these deep longings inside of you.